Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy with a Phantom 4 standard size battery. All right, I'm gonna show you why people try to send these in for the refresh and DJI says, no way folks. Uh, the reason is, it's just like your iPhone or any other cell phone. It has a little dot in here and um, they'll turn red if they've been soaked and wet. And that's what happened with this. I was flying my drone, crashed into a tree, uh, the battery flipped out, and it ended up in the water. Um, I'll let you in on a little secret. It doesn't mean your drone is dead, but it sure does mean your battery's dead. You can rice up the drone and steal your sister's hair dryer and let it run into the battery compartment and dry it out nice and good. And But the DJI batteries, the intelligent batteries, once they hit the water, there's a circuit breaker in there. It pops and the battery's dead and just want to say another thing while taking these apart be very careful there are spaces between the these intelligent flight batteries because uh, you have to use a few tools a sharp razor knife uh, a small screwdriver for poking and a large screwdriver for just like prying this thing apart this is a sacrificial battery i'm not worried about it i know it's dead and it cannot be brought back to life once these lipos go beyond zero You'd have to supercharge them up to get them back, and I wouldn't trust them in my drone. And the most important thing is a cup of coffee. Alright, so let's get started. Um, just to show you, I've already knifed through, but take your time. There's a seam right here. Just knife it slowly with the knife. The other side, same thing. Now you flip it over, you got a knife here, a knife there. Also remember that this little cage going around the connector is actually glued in. Um, that's where a small screwdriver comes into play because um, you might have to get in here and start prying. But like I said, I've already popped this one open. So what happens is it actually relocked because I actually saved the tabs. But like I said, be very, very careful of poking the lipo batteries even though they're dead. And watch poking yourself. I'm trying to do this while I'm on camera here. Okay, there's one. You can see the tab. And as you notice, I already cut away at this. This little plastic thing. Well, that's glued. DJI did a really good job on these. This one is glued to this plastic piece after they slide it on. Alright, so now after you free up this end, alright, right off the bat I'll show you. See the little red dot? That's usually white. When it gets wet, red, it means it's got soaking wet. Alright, now before you do any more, you can pull all you want. You'll just end up breaking the case. Um, this cover is clicked on and lightly glued um, it's not impossible to get off I mean if you're trying to get it off to save it like if you want to mod this battery then you gotta be really careful to drain down the battery into storage mode but because you've got to get in here first I mean you can start out with a smaller screwdriver and just open up these gaps and look at it carefully the way it's designed and the way it is put on Alright, so if you start opening that like that, and then you start to do a little bit of prying, it'll pull the cover up away, and that's where I came in with this big boy, and just separate the lid, and it's like a little, and what you have to do is once you got this side, you have to go on this side and release this side. Alright, alright, now that pops off. Now if you're careful that all stays together. You don't lose the little buttons and the little springs. So I'll put that down. Now if you look at there, there's your push button circuit board. And you got to be careful because there's actually ribbon cables in this battery. So now you can basically separate the shell. Take the little circuit board slides out. They did a really nice job on these. But I'll show you again. Battery gets wet. This turns red. When they open up the battery, they tell you you ain't getting a new battery. It didn't fail. 
for a DJI. It failed because you drowned it in the water. Now, there are ways to revive this. And if you look for a seam here, there's a seam right here. If you want to look at all the cells, you just have to pull off these little sponge. I didn't even go this far with this battery. But there's like little sponge bumpers. And then you can see the DJI tape that they put on around these. And it's like, you got to be careful with the ribbon cable. Like I said, this is sacrificial. The ribbon cable goes all the way up to there. And there's one piece of tape. And you have that piece of tape. This piece of tape. Well, they're not tapes, they're DJI's covers. And now you can see how the cells, it's a four cell lipo. Alright, now that's about as far as I'm going to go. This battery's dead, it's junk. I just wanted you to see what it takes to open it up. And the reason why DJI says your battery fell in the water, sweetheart. It just didn't break down on its own. Alright. So this is Cruise Roy with the Phantom 4 battery. Hope it helps someone out looking inside. Have a good day.